Welcome to another episode of Learning with Line with PC Line 324. On this episode, I'll be auto mounting an HDD. Before we start, remember this is Learning with Line. I'm still learning this, so my knowledge on this topic is somewhat limited. As a disclaimer, I'm not responsible for any damages of any type that result from you following this guide. This is what worked for me on my system. It may or may not work for you on your system. Before following any guide of any kind, you should always back up any data that you will be changing or that will be changed as a result of you following the guide. Again, I'm not responsible for any damages of any type that result from you following this guide or may result while you're following this guide. I know I don't normally say that, but I thought I should start doing it to cover my butt. I'll probably just start displaying it at the beginning of every video from now on. First things first. Make sure the drive you want to auto mount is not currently mounted. Open your home folder and look for an unmount or eject button for the drive you want to auto mount. And Nautilus, it looks like an eject icon, or if you right click on the drive you want to unmount, there will be an unmount option in the pop up menu. If the drive is mounted, unmount it. In order for it to be unmounted, you should close any programs that use the drive. For instance, I want to unmount my 1TB01 drive here, but Rhythmbox is using it, so I have to close Rhythmbox first before I can unmount it. I just closed Rhythmbox and now it's unmounted. Now we need to open up a terminal. We need to create the directory where we want to mount the drive. I'm guessing you can mount the device as a subdirectory of any directory, but I just use the directory Ubuntu creates anyway. This is why we needed to unmount the drive. So enter the command sudo mkdir followed by the path where you want to create the directory and the name of the directory. The directory should be created. It may ask you if you need to enter your password. I've done that already. That's why it didn't ask me. Um, and you need to check to see if the directory was really created by typing in the command uh, ls and where you create a directory um, I created mine in media so there it is it says 1tb01 and don't close this because you're gonna need this later I'm just gonna leave it open next we need to open the disk utility which is under system administration disk utility we need this because this is going to tell us the device name that we're going to need in order to auto mount the drive. I want to auto mount the 1TB01 drive and there's the device name so we're going to need that. Now you're going to hit Alt F2 and you're going to do a GKSU gedit etc fs tab like so. Hit run. This will open gedit with root writes so we can edit the fs tab file. Make sure you have the backup option checked in gedit's preferences before continuing. After that we'll add an entry to the bottom of the file following the column guide in line 7. Under the file system column, we want to enter the device name found in the disk utility app. Mine was device slash sdc1. Next, under the mount point, we want to enter the name of the folder we created. I'm not quite sure what type is, but my guess it's the type of device that you're mounting. Auto work for me, so go ahead and enter auto under options this is uh, probably the uh, permissions and user ownership and group ownership um, here you want to enter read write uh, your username I'm not sure what this one is I believe this this one is the group so I, I'm just gonna enter auto I don't know exactly what this is I'm assuming it's execution rights and I believe the last thing is the encoding of the file. The last two dump and pass I have absolutely no idea what they are for. 
um, zero just worked on the previous one here you see this device SDB1 that's a previous one that I'm had mounted uh, auto mounted and zero worked for both of those so we're going to go ahead and put zero in again now save the file and after this you're going to need to restart the system quite obviously I can't show that so I'm going to try to mount the drive inside of the file system here um, inside of Nautilus by clicking on it and I should get an error and there it is unable to mount unable to mount ex exited blah 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 so that'll let you know that I actually have to restart this uh, system in order to get this to continue to work so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here and I'll be back after I restart the system and I'll see you in a bit so I've restarted the system and now the drive should be mounted since I logged in and to check it you can either open up your file manager which I will do or you can um, run a program that accesses the drive um, here's my file manager open and you will see right there it's got the eject button to unmount it or if I use a program like Rhythmbox there it goes it starts playing it you see it up there in the corner it's accessing the drive and that's pretty much it things to remember like I said earlier I don't know if this will auto mount for each user or what permissions each user will have if it does mount for each user um, so I mean I would have posted a link of where I learned this I just can't remember where it is <laughs> So um, if you find out any more information, please leave it in the comments and let me know. That'll do it for this episode. Um, don't forget to thumb up or down. If you got any questions about anything in this video or anything in particular, feel free to ask. I'll answer what I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.